Hello and welcome back to Mad Mouse Games. Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about the miniatures that I painted last year and kind of show them all off at one time. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about some things that I would change, some things that I would do the same, talk about some of the miniatures I really liked I painted this year and some of the ones that I'll probably go back and paint um, another day. So first of all is this one here. This was the thing in the well. It was one of the first ones that I painted for the channel. And honestly, I think it still holds up today. It's one of the favorite ones that I've painted. I think it still looks really good. Um, I It's the only one I think that I painted this year that I did a gloss of varnish on just to make it a little bit more slimy looking. And I just think it looks amazing. Um, uh, another reason it's one of my favorites is because it has the the well part and I just think that part is super cool. So as you can see, it pulls apart and you can just put the well as just a terrain piece and then have the monster come out of it if you want. Or you can put the monster separate or whatever you want. So that's one of the ones I really liked and it was fun to paint. And then this one was also one of my favorites, which is um, Nartholisk. And the thing I really liked about it was mostly just the wings. Uh, as you can see, I did kind of the the painting there, and I think it really makes the wings stand out and looks really good. There's there's a lot to this miniature that I don't like, um, but it is one of my favorites, especially because of these wings right here. So one thing that I would have changed is probably done it on the spines here too, because I think it needs a little bit of work there. But for the most part, I think it's really well painted. Um, I did a lot of dry brushing on it. I probably would change those scales and, and make them a little bit better. But other than that, this was one of my favorites to paint. And I think it ended up looking really good. So um, another one of these miniatures is this guy here. This was the Friar from Reaper Bones 5. It's a really good looking miniature. It can make a really cool player character if you want to do like a monk. Or if you want to do just like um, a cool NPC. He could be mysterious. He could be, you know, the local priest. He could be all kinds of things. He is a really cool miniature. And I learned a lot painting this guy. Uh, again, I, I did a video on layering with him um but first i recommend you go watch dr faust painting um video about it i'll put it down in the description but it's a, a great video to watch i highly recommend checking out his channel um and i learned a lot there this was one of the miniatures that i was not so proud of doing i tried to paint him like aragorn from lord of the rings and i didn't do too bad of a job with like his clothes his sword um but it's also the first time i ever tried glow effects and it just isn't that great. It's kind of cool at first, but having him on the table all the time, I don't think it would look very good. So he's one I'll probably fix later, as well as this guy, who is the Pizza Dragon. A lot of the first miniatures I painted, I didn't do a super good job on. Um, you can see, you know, there it's not blended very well. There's a lot that stands out on it that just doesn't look very good so i'll probably come back and paint this guy at some point because he's really really cool miniature but the paint job just isn't quite up to par so definitely one thing i do is change a couple of these but this was another one i really enjoyed painting it was my first try at this non-metallic metal on the scythe here which i mean it's it's not very good but I do love the way that his face turned out and the layering I did there I think looks really, really cool. As well as his eyes, which are hard to see, but you can kind of see, you know, the little eyes there. I just made them look like fire eyes instead of, you know, normal painted eyes. And I think they look really good. Um, this guy here, the stone golem, I think he ended up looking pretty good. And the nice thing about this guy, as well as the other little bowler guys here is that they were really quick and easy to paint up, which is always fun. You can just do a quick dry brush. I'll probably fix his eyes. 
yeah, at some point, and paint some eyes on those guys. But this guy, I think he looks really good. I did put this one on t on the table in front of my players. They knew exactly what he was. They ran away because they were scared of him. Um, this is another one I really liked here, which was one I painted at the very end of the year. I really love the armor here. You can see it's kind of well-defined, um, and I think he just looks really cool, as well as the horse. I mean, even the details there look really nice, and it was fun to do the layering on there. I think overall, this is a really, really cool model, and this is one I'm really excited to plop in front of my players. And I did the eyes here on it, too, um, just red eyes on the horse, which I think is cool. Then there is this guy. So this I tried to paint like the box art, which I didn't do too bad of a job on. The one thing that I didn't look good was the skin. It just doesn't look right. It's not blended well. It kind of looks like just one color. Um, and so one thing here, you can see kind of the difference in between how I learned to do the skin, just in between the ogre and this little dwarf. You can see how there's not really good blending or or anything that stands out, but there on the dwarf you can see a lot more of blending and things that stand out. You can see the muscles are more defined, and that was something that I learned this year. It's something I still have to work on a lot, but it was one of those things that um, I was really happy to do. This guy, this elk here, just is not good looking. This was one I finished, and I was like, you know what, that does not look very good. So it's probably one I'll do again at a future date. It's just kind of, but the base here, this is one of the miniatures I actually based and I think looks good. But this one, this uh, Katobopas, I did the base on it too. And I kind of did the, the moss green kind of on its belly as well, as though it, was, it had been laying in the environment, which I think is really cool and was one of the ones that I think actually looks good as well as the face is really defined, and the red eyes just look so cool on this guy. So he was another one I was proud of painting and that I thought looked pretty good. Um, and then finally, there's this three-headed troll who, uh, again, just like the ogre, the skin is just not very good. The, the thing here, the tunic, I think looks good, but the skin, the faces is just not great. But if you compare it to some of these um, other trolls that I did, I mean, they're just more well-defined in their skin and look better. Here's a better example. So here you can see, I mean, the face is more defined, the rib cage, the muscles, even the hands. I mean, having those lighter and lighter highlights, I think, looks really nice. And that was one thing that I was missing on the three-headed troll. But you can see just the nice highlights here. Looks way better than on that troll there. It just kind of looks like this green. I mean, overall, there's a little bit of highlighting, but not enough. So I'll probably come back, highlight him at some point to be more like this guy. And just so you can see things a little more clearly on him. So these are kind of just the models that I painted this year. There were 40 of them. And overall, I was really proud of them. Um, and so... This is something that I look forward to, to showing you more next year. And this is some of what I have planned for next year. I found this Legion stuff for really cheap um, online. So I bought it because it's basically enough to run two full armies. So one thing I plan on doing is painting all of this up, which is going to be a lot of work. And I'll probably do some like batch painting tips and tricks on it. Um, that I'll be learning, but you can see some of them kind of came painted. There's like one squadron of B1s who are painted. Um, they're not painted very well. It's kind of just like one shiny metallic coat, and then the weapons are black. So it just needs some highlighting. Maybe I'll change it, maybe I won't. Um, and then these clone troopers were painted. These are something that I actually painted just to see how the painting would go. And it doesn't look great, so I'll probably end up redoing these guys here. Um, I, I kind of came up with some ideas for them already, so they're not great, but that's okay. So I plan on painting all this up next year, 
and getting some games on the channel. So if that's something you're going to be interested in, make sure you leave me a comment letting me know what you want to see. Um, if you want to see games, I'm really excited about this tank back here. Let me grab it really quick. So this guy is a saber tank for the clones, which is a huge model. But this I'm really excited to paint, as well as um, this one over here. It's the ATT or AAT tank for the droids, and it rotates, which is so cool. Uh, so I'm really excited to paint this one as well. Again, just a huge miniature I'm excited to paint. So got a couple of these I'm excited to do for the channel. But this next year, I've got a lot to look forward to for. Um, more Bones 5 stuff as well as this Legion stuff. So if you like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe to see more. And thanks for watching.